This is uh, Mark at uh, Slowpoke Racing and we're with the Ultimate Racing League for um, a brand new um, season, a brand new league season and uh, a brand new concept. Uh, I don't think it's been done before in uh, Ultimate Racing League. It may have done but not while I've been here and it's a multi-class uh, race. This is going to be an hour long endurance race bit like they do at Le Mans I believe um, we've got the group 1 cars and group 3 cars on track at the same time so this is going to be really interesting uh, looking forward to this um, we've got 11 on the grid now because it's an hour race I'm going to get straight into it and then we'll talk about <coughs> rules and things like that as we actually go along now there are a few new faces or, or new drivers not faces because i can't actually see the faces but there are some new dri uh, new drivers new names to me on track so uh, again looking forward to see how these guys perform not sure if they're new to the actual league or um they've just uh, been sort of sat in the background waiting to join but nevertheless they're here which is fantastic so we're going to run down the grid and um, just before we do that, uh, for those of you who play the game on a regular basis, you will see that we are at Circuit de la Sarthe, or better known as Le Mans in France. Um, where else would we start a multi-class endurance race but at Le Mans? Um, so, as I say, we will get into it and we'll go on a little bit about the track as we go through. So, after qualifying... As you would expect, we've got the GR1 cars up at the front and the GR3 cars behind. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean anything as the order they're going to finish, as we shall see. So, in 11th, we have, uh, again, a new name to me, Crashing Chris. And what a fantastic name that is. Absolutely love that name, Crashing Chris. I hope that's not how he drives, but we shall see. Number 10 on the grid is Molepiece. Number nine is, uh, I will call him Peter. I can't pronounce that, and I do apologise for that. Siasto Peter. Uh, but we'll call you Peter, and I hope that's okay. Number eight is Campo. That is a familiar name to me. Then we've got number seven, um, Sunes. We'll call you Sunes. Um, again, I hope you don't mind me just calling you Sunes. Number six is Nath. Number fifth is Brian Moncarney. Fourth on the grid is the Big Mac. Third is Cherry Bomb. Second is Grasshopper. And in pole position, a very familiar name to me is Toten. Very quick driver. And uh, yeah, I expect him to be there on pole. So we shall get this uh, very first race underway. So we shall look out for those lights. And we are away for the very first race of this multi-class on the Ultimate Racing League as Toten takes us into the first set of bends. And now I will try and pronounce some of the uh, the turns, um, but my French is, um, well, let's just say non-existent. So apologies if I cock any of it up. Um, so you'll see the Group 1 cars obviously go flying away as they do we've got Totem, Grasshopper, Cherry Bomb and the Big Mac it looks like Cherry Bomb's already made a move on uh, Grasshopper and gone up into second place now the big thing with the uh, races these endurance races is tyre and fuel consumption as we see the Big Mac's already picked up a half second penalty as far as the tyres go We've got, um, well, I don't quite know what's happened there. The Big Mac just seemed to slow right down and let Brian Moncarney through. Um, we've not even reached the um, penalty zone yet, so I'm not really sure what's happened to the Big Mac. But we shall drop down. We can see that uh, Sunes is in six. He's the first of the uh, GR3 cars. It looks like he's in the GTR. Then we've got Peter in 7th, then we've got Nath, Crashing Chris, Campo and Molpiece. Molpiece in the Alfa Romeo, quite a popular car this season actually, the, uh, the Alfa Romeo. 
as we follow them through the I don't know which way we are now I've completely lost uh, the track positions I think we're going around the um, through one of the chicanes through the SC chicanes so let's just drop back up to the leader token out in front just going around Mulsanne Grasshopper in second now, Cherry Bomb in third, Cherry Bomb's picked up a penalty so he's obviously track limits, Brian Moncani in fourth, the Big Mac fifth, yet to serve his penalty. So these uh, Group 1 cars already picking penalties up, I think the guys are going to take a few laps just to get used to them. This penalty is being served and done, so the big back can now concentrate on getting his uh, foot down to catch up to the other guys. You can already see quite a gap opening up between uh, the Group 1 cars and the Group 3 cars, although oh, Nath, I say that, but Nath's down in 7th, so I'm not quite sure what's happened to him. Now I believe the rules are that the uh, the Group 3 cars will stick to the racing line and uh, as the Group 1 cars approach it is up to them to try and get by. Um, so if they will have to go off of the racing line. And it looks like Seamus is giving Nath a bit of a run for his money. In the different uh, class of cars. Oh as Nath goes very wide there. You need to uh, get on the brakes a little bit earlier with those cars, Nath, but I'm sure he'll get used to it. We've got plenty of time ahead of us. As I say, it is a 60-minute endurance race. Now, as the cars really do start to spread out, we may skip a few laps uh, just to shorten it, because I'm sure you guys just don't want to sit there and uh, watch cars drive around the tracks on their own. got Peter in the BMW is it the M6 I'm not sure which one it is the maybe the endurance but Peter's in seven Campo eight more piece nine now crashing Chris has uh, been on the hards he's decided that's it he's coming in to uh, change them not sure if I've already mentioned it but uh, all three compounds must be used weird looking tires aren't they all three tyres must be used, so that's the uh, hard, medium, soft. It's up to you when you use them and for how long you use them. But uh, but they must be used, and it looks like Crashing Chris is uh, is going to change those hard tyres very early on in this race. So what's happened there? Let's uh, let me just see if I can go back a, a quick. Yeah, now then, this is where Toten, Toten's picked up a half second penalty, although that is not what slowed him down, I don't think. As they go through the S's onto, uh, I think it's Tort Rouge, and Grasshopper just gets by Toten, and it's uh, you know a great pass, and Grasshopper straight into the leader of this race. So Toten, I'm sure, will fight back, although that half second penalty isn't really going to help him out much. Cherry Bomb in third, Brian Moncani in fourth, and the Big Mac in fifth with another penalty. Sunas in sixth, Peter in seventh, Campo eighth, Molpiece ninth. Now, Nath down in 10th, he's in the Group 1 car, so he, he seems to be struggling, he's not quite used to this car yet. The thing with the Group 1 cars, you have to trust the grip, and uh, you can throw them into corners, and a bit like the F1 cars, I, I believe, is uh, the faster you go, the more they grip. But anyway, Crashing Chris is out after his pit stop oh he's looks like he's back on racing hard so i'm not quite sure what's uh, what's going on there but uh, crashing chris is back out he's a good few seconds off of the back of nath 
anyway back up to our race leader our current race leader is grasshopper still got totem clinging to the back of him so those that uh, know about Le Mans you will know that uh, this track is 8.4 miles long one of the longest uh, circuits used there are 38 turns and um, according to my sources 85% of the track is going to be taken at full throttle um, so a very very fast track very famous track as we all know every, I'm sure everybody has heard of the 24-hour Le Mans race uh, and that is what this is um, loosely based on as Grasshopper Trump penalty so these two guys really got to grips with this car very early on and are starting to open up a lead let's have just have a look at the tyres they're both on softs Grasshopper and Totem both on softs we've got Cherry Bomb also on the softs he's sitting quite comfortably in third Brian Moncarney he's on the mediums and sitting in fourth fastest lap at the minute is Grasshopper on a 3.31.2 as we watch Brian enter into the S's chicane then we've got the Big Mac in fifth Sunas in sixth now he has got uh, quite a bit of a gap now back to his uh, nearest rival which at the minute is uh, Peter all on his own you can just see Campo coming in into view in the background there so Campo in 8th he's in the NSX he's on the racing softs Let's see what Peter's on. Peter's on the uh, mediums, so having a good race is Peter on the mediums. As I say, Campo's on the softs. You can see the tyre wear starting to kick in now. Also, one of the rules is uh, when a tyre goes red, you have uh, one lap to change it, so you cannot run tyres on red. It's uh, It's been said quite a few times in the game that um, a completely worn out or a red soft tyre is still better than uh, a hard tyre but to eliminate that the rules are if your tyres go red you have to change them uh, within a lap so Molepiece in the Alpha on 9th everybody spreading out Nath now catching up to the back of Molepiece so as Nath now got to grips with this car he's got a boy he's got himself a minute uh, a minute a second penalty has Nath so um, he needs to get that out of the way but I hope things calm down for him and he can start to get to grips with it so let's just go back up to our race leader as Toten has now taken the lead and I'm, apologies we missed that one I will drop back a couple of laps here we go so Toten in the slipstream we go on board with Toten he's in the slipstream there's not a lot Grasshopper could do about that and Toten just cruises by Ooh, bit of a bumper kiss there not intentional again <clears throat> as Grasshopper serves his penalty and drops away from the back of Toten but I'm sure he's going to do everything he can to catch him back up again so this is the current situation with Toten leading Grasshopper is second Cherry Bomb is third 
You can just see Brian Moncarney in the background in fourth. We're just waiting to see if the Big Mac comes into view, and he doesn't, so there is quite a gap then back to the Big Mac. Then we've got Sunus in six, so Nath again with some more penalties. Oh, big slide from Nath. In very early days for these guys though so I'm sure Nath will get to grips with this car as the race progresses and as the season progresses so we've then got uh, Peter who is he's in eighth but um, he technically is second because of him in the group three um, section or class, should I say section? Class. I'm just trying to work out who's got the best lap. Now it may be Peter actually with a 407. Let's just have a look. Oh no. Sunus has got a 403. Uh, Peter 407. Campo a 407. Mole Peter 410. And Crashing Chris a 418. So. It is soon as with the fastest lap in the uh, Group 3s in that GTR. Tyres not looking too bad This uh, on lap 3. Fuel is OK. So let's just go back up to the top. Uh, Toten, his tyres are looking OK as well same with the fuel so these guys are okay for a good uh, a good fuel few laps yet now obviously if you can get close enough the slip streaming comes into play that'll save you a bit of fuel um, these guys may even start short shifting to save on fuel as well so it's gonna be quite a tactical battle So you can now see the difference. If you look in the top right of the screen and look at the map, you can see the little red triangle that we're following at the minute is Toten. And then as we go through, we've got the Big Mac in fifth, and then it's almost the length of the uh, Mulsanne Strait. Back to Sunus in six as Nate takes that sixth position back. Sunus tries to get into the slipstream of Nate. Although he shouldn't stay in it for very long, because uh, if Nate puts his foot down, that uh, the Group 1 car should start to pull away. I'm just having a look what the Group 1 car is. I've got it written down somewhere. Um, I don't know what the Group 1 cars are. I'll find it. It is the TSO 50. For those that are interested, as Nate. He's still carrying penalties. So I think he needs to... Um, that, oh, I was just about to say that looked a lot better from Nath there as he goes off uh, off track. Oh, and the Big Mac's had a spill. Let's... Oh, no, what's happened to the Big Mac? Well, that didn't tell us anything, did it? Let's go on board and see what's happened. It's this uh, very tight right hand. And he's gone way too wide. Uh, kiss with barrier. And then in his excitement to get back on track, he's uh, just spun himself round. So a quick uh, three-point turn for the Big Mac. And we are off and running. He's uh, got no, nobody around him, so that's fine. He's not causing any issues. Nath's still down in six. Sunis in seventh. Peter eight. Campo ninth. Campo with a penalty as well. Mole piece ten and crashing Chris down in 11th not really made any more progress since his um, P2 
pit stop very early on. I think it was just after lap one. So back up to our race leader, Totem, still battling it out with Grasshopper. So I'm just going to jump forward a couple of laps. As Totem now seems to be opening up quite a bit of a gap to uh, Grasshopper. Both will need to come in for tyres shortly and fuel. Well, fuel is oh, what are we at? about a quarter, quarter tank. So I would imagine both are going to be making a stop very shortly. Cherry Bomb also. It's going to be needing a new set of tyres. Uh, Brian Moncarney, however, his tyres don't look too bad at the minute. So maybe going on to the mediums, might, he might get an extra lap. He's been reserving fuel. You can see he's got a lot more fuel than everybody else. So this may work to his advantage. Oh, big, a uh, big twitch there from Brian. We've got the Big Mac. You know, very interesting. The Big Mac. He's um, on the racing softs, and he's unless he's just changed them. And we missed that. I was going to say his tyres look very good, but I think he's just changed them. We've got Nathan in six. I'm looking at his tyres. He's going to need to come in shortly and get them changed, especially the rear left. Sooners obviously changed his now onto the racing hards. Peter, now the guys are now getting um, lapped, which is what you would expect in the multi-class races. The uh, the Group 1 cars are a lot, lot faster. Let's just have a look. It's Brian Moncarney that's, uh, that's coming up to um, overtake Peter. Small piece in ninth and crashing Chris 10th. Now Campo, Campo down in length, so he's obviously had a stop as well. Campo on the racing hards now, and we can just see somebody in the distance. So this is where it starts to get confusing now as uh, people start to lap each other as Totem goes by Campo. That was all very easy though. Down the Mulsan Straits, through the Mulsan Kink. So Toten, our current leader. You can just see Campo in the background. It says he's 11. I'm just having a look where Grasshopper is. So there is quite a gap now back to um, Grasshopper from Toten. And I would imagine they're both going to have to come in at the uh, on the same lap. Now, could this be the lap that they uh, decide to do their pit stop? The tyres, especially the rear left, looking very worn on Totem's car. The same with Grasshopper. And Cherry Bomb. So it is the rear left that's taking the punishment. Now, the only one whose tyres look OK are Brian Moncarney. And is he going to stay out? He will have to make a pit, obviously. And when he does, he can go on to the soft tyres. So uh, this could be a good, good uh, strategy from Brian. As you can see, Nate has decided to come in on this lap. So he's on softs at the minute, so we'll have a look and see what uh, what he puts on in a minute. We've got Sunus in 7th, but uh, actually in 1st of the Group 3 cars. Peter just behind him, he's got a 1 second penalty. 
Then we've got more peace, crushing Chris, and then Campo. Our current leader, Toten, he's decided to stay out. He's going to try and get one more lap out of those tyres. Current fastest lap as well, a 329.5. Grasshopper, he's decided to stay out as well. So he's just, uh, he's going to do exactly the same as what um, Toten's doing. And Grasshopper looks like uh, he's going to actually lap Nath. So Toten would have already done that. Nath moves out of his way. So Grasshopper goes through. Cherry Bomb has stayed out as well. Brian, now Brian's come in. Now that's a surprise to me. I thought Brian might have stayed out for a little longer, but he's decided to come in and uh, change those medium tyres. Let's just see how the pit crew get on. This could be a long wait. No, let's not see how we get on with the pit crew because we're waiting forever for them guys. So the Big Mac out on his softs with his penalty. So Nath back out now on the racing hards. Soonus is in. Peter. He's staying out and takes over the lead in the Group 3 cars. He will be lapped shortly. So that's soon as in the pits. Then we've got Mole Piece on ninth. Already made his stop out on the mediums. Crashing Chris made his stop. He's now on the soft, so he can start to uh, try and make some headway in this race. And Campo finds himself down in 11th and carrying a penalty as well. I think the problem with this track is when you do lose sight of the guys in front of you, it can get very lonely. Uh, you don't feel like you're making any progress at all. And I bet that's how Campo feels at the minute. So back up to our race leader, Toten. Surely he's going to come in this lap. The rear left is about gone. And uh, as we said at the beginning of the race, the rules are you can only do one lap on a red tyre. There is quite a gap between Toten and Grasshopper, so I would imagine the Hungarian driver is going to come in this lap, get tyres changed and get back out again before Grasshopper comes around. Although Grasshopper is going to have to stop himself. Yeah, Toten's in. Now then, Grasshopper surely has got to follow him. He would have seen that Toten's gone into the pit. Yeah, Grasshopper's in as well. So, it'll be an interesting uh, to see which tyres they both choose. As Cherry Bomb comes round. Is he going to come into the pits as well? Yes, so all of the, uh, the group... Um, the group one cars have come in. Brian's already been in. He's going through Indianapolis. Onto the Porsche curve is Brian and um, Totem's back out on track on the racing hard so Grasshopper, he's out now, he's on the hards as well, so it seems like these two have, have exactly the same strategy. Not quite sure what tyres Cherry Bomb's put on, but he's taking fuel on board. So, can Brian take that third spot away from Cherry Bomb? Cherry Bomb is getting fuel.
Can Brian go through? Now then, it looks like Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's out. And he is just ahead of Brian Moncarney. Now, Brian has caught up. They've made a bit of progress on Cherry Bomb, but uh, unfortunately not that much. So the gap is still there. So Toten out in front, Grasshopper second, Cherry Bomb third, Brian fourth, the Big Mac fifth. In six is Nate, a long, long way back, at least half the track. So a good four miles away is Nate at the minute. Peter is into the pit in seventh position. Then we've got Sunes in eighth. Now he could take that seventh position back again. So Peter's still in the pit as Sunes goes through. So yeah, Sunes retakes that seventh position or first position in the class. Peter still in the pit. It gets very agonising sitting in there waiting. The mechanics don't seem to be doing a lot, do they? All standing watching the man put the fuel in. You thought one of them would be cleaning the windows or something, wouldn't you? Anyway, Peter back out on track in eighth position. His nearest rival is Molpiece in ninth, and there is a bit of a gap. Crashing Chris in 10th and um, Campo Campo in the pits now, it doesn't look like there's a lot happening there actually I'm not sure what so they've got some technical issues I'm not quite sure what's happening to Campo but he is just sat in the pits at the minute so we'll keep an eye on that one as we see Toten He's way out in front, so I'm just going to give it a couple of laps as Toten overtakes Nath again and comes up against Crashing Chris. Remember, Crashing Chris can stick to the racing line. It's up to Toten to get by him, which he does very easily. It's Brian Moncarney now in second, so... We did skip a couple of laps, but I'm just going to see if we can go back. No. I'm sorry I missed that one, Brian, but Brian's managed to get in front of Grasshopper. And Grasshopper, something must have happened because he is quite a way back in third. Cherry Bomb in fourth. We're coming up to the 47 minute mark of this race and as you can see is everybody is very very spread out now cherry bomb in fourth i'm looking at the map at the top right and there is a massive gap back to the big mac and the big mac carrying a three and a half second penalty so he really must be abusing the um track limits to pick those kind of penalties up Nath in six, he's being lapped by Brian. And it looks like Cherry Bomb is going to be lapping in very soon as well. But on the plus side, it does look like Nath is getting better with that car. Which is encouraging. Uh, he's just picked up a penalty there. But I think that may be that he's uh, very conscious that... Uh, Cherry Bomb's coming up behind and he, uh, he doesn't want to get in his way. Now one thing you can say about Nath is uh, he is a very safe driver. He does try and stay out of everybody's way. There is the odd bump and scrape which we all have. But I'm sure, as I say, he's very conscious that uh, Cherry Bomb is there. go the right way so Sunus in seventh all on his own Peter all on his own in eighth 
So everybody very, very spread out. Mole piece, crashing Chris, and Campo still in the pit. So I think that may be a retirement from Campo. There may be some kind of issue in there that uh, they just can't resolve. The mechanics, mind you, they don't look like they're trying to resolve it, do they? But uh, that may be a retirement for Campo. So back up to our current race lead. Let's go on board with Toten so we can see how it should be done as we head towards the Mulsanne turn. Very nicely done there from Toten. Foot planted firmly on the noisy pedal. Down towards Indianapolis and on Arsh. And as we said earlier, this track is 85% full throttle. And you can see that uh, Toten's not sparing the horses at all, is he? Now he's going to have the service penalty once he goes around this right-hander. You can see the two gates there, which is the penalty zone. So that's that uh, half second done. And we can get back to racing again. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever. No, then that may be a penalty there. It may, may have gone a little bit wide on that turn. Yeah. I'm sure that's uh, not going to worry him, though. Caught fastest lap of 3.29. No, he's off the pace now. Mind you, he's on the mediums. So Grasshopper in second, looking at uh, trying to get past Mole Piece. Mole Piece, as I say, doesn't have to get out of the way. Grasshopper does it successfully though. Still sitting in second. Brian occupying that third podium spot at the minute. Brian, of course, from Belgium, and when he's not racing, he's driving something a lot slower and a lot bigger. He's a, a crane operator, apparently. So, as I say, um, a massive difference between what he's in now to what he's in during the daytime. Cherry Bomb sitting in fourth. I don't know too much about Cherry Bomb. Um, he is currently one of the drivers on uh, on a Sunday in the Sunday League. I believe he's in League Three um, and doing very well actually in uh, in that league. Then we've got the Big Mac, a regular in the Ultimate Racing League. and is responsible for uh, organising this event. So thank you to uh, the Big Mac for that. Did used to work in uh, McDonald's, apparently, or still does work in McDonald's. Hence the name, the Big Mac. Nath currently sitting in six. Nath, another regular for the Ultimate Racing League, also taking part in uh, our Sunday races and on a Wednesday in the Porsche. So Nath really does like to get stuck into these races. And he's not got a penalty, so well done Nath. So 
Souness in seventh. Looks like he's got this one wrapped up for the uh, GR3 class. Then we've got Peter, another new name to me. In eighth, again, good solid race from him. Then we've got the Canadian crashing Chris. I'm hoping we can see a lot more of these guys in other races on the Sundays and the Wednesdays. Chris, for some reason, got his hazards going and we all know they slow you down so uh, he needs to get them turned off mole piece in 10th and uh, campo who has retired so we're not quite sure what's happened there but um, here's the first and only retirement of the race so we've got about ooh, five and a half minutes of this race left. It looks like Toten's pretty much got this one wrapped up. Out all on his own. He is um, coming up to lap as somebody. I can't quite see who it is just yet. But it won't be long. Then we've got Grasshopper in second. I'm sure he'll be pleased with that. Coming second to Toten is uh, is no nothing to be ashamed of. Nice bottle of champagne for him. Now I'm not sure where we are next week. I will have a look and try and find out. I did have it all written down, but um, I've got that much paperwork around me. I've, I've lost it, so apologies for that. Now, Nath back into the pits. Now, uh, this could be for his um, stint with the hard tyres. I don't know. He's taking some fuel on board. So Toten's already been in and uh, changed onto the mediums. The grasshopper likewise, he's already been in, he's back on the mediums. So everybody's been in and done their uh, required pit stops. Morning Rufus. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see the chat and uh, Rufus has just uh, said hi. I'm not talking to myself. Well, I am talking to myself, but well, you know what I mean. So, with about three minutes to go, Toten all on his own out in front. Grasshopper is in second position and looking good. Brian Moncarney in third. Cherry Bomb fourth. The Big Mac is in fifth. Nath in sixth with a half second penalty but um, not unusual for Nate to have a penalty in this race it is a learning curve this one first race in a new car I'm sure Nate is going to get better and better as the uh, weeks go on throughout this season then we've got Sunas in 7th currently leading the uh, GR3 class We've got Peter in 8th, Crashing Chris 9th, Molepiece 10th and... Oh, Campo! Campo's back! Well, whatever it was, um, they've got it sorted and Campo's back on track, which is great to see. He's a good, uh, well, probably a good couple of laps down, but still, it is fantastic to see him back on track. So, well done to him and well done to the mechanics. As we go back up to um, Toten.
Funny enough, we've not had any rain, which is uh, what you usually, those that play the game on a regular basis will know that uh, it always rains in France, um, especially around Le Mans circuit. Uh, we've not had any rain, so uh, all good. Well, Brian, Brian's pulled into the pits now then. Is this because he needs to um, run the hard tyres? And Cherry Bomb has gone through to take that third position away from Brian. So Brian's tactics have all gone wrong for him now. Unless he just thought it was a fuel issue, but I'm pretty sure it's the um, tyres that he needed to put on. Yeah, he is. This is the uh, racing hard stint. So, Brian, it's ran the softs and the mediums, left the hards till the very last minute. And that's allowed Cherry Bomb through. So, Brian will be absolutely kicking himself. for that uh, slight miscalculation so cherry bomb now through to third Brian in fourth and I think that is probably where they're going to finish the Big Mac is in fifth Nath is in six I think he's already been lapped by uh, most of the guys in front so six is, is going to be his best Sunus in seventh, although he is first in the uh, in the group in the class of the GR3s, so he'll be pleased with that. Same with PT second. Then we've got Crashing Chris, Molepiece, and Campo. After the issues he had, oh, let me just go back because uh, we have got guys finishing in. I'm missing it by talking about something else. As Crashing Chris crosses the line then in ninth mole piece is going to take 10th campo is going to come out in 11th so it is now down to our leader totem who can literally take his time i think let's just try and find out who that is in front it's the big mac so i'm trying to see as people Cross the line where and it may be the Big Mac who's going to finish next I think it will be I think the Big Mac is going to bring you home in fifth so well done to him As Toten crosses the start finish line to take the chequered flag and a fantastic win for Toten. Well deserved, great race from him. Grasshopper is going to bring it home in second. Another fantastic race for the Grasshopper. So in this very first race of the uh, multi-class, he'll be pleased with the second, or he should be. Cherry Bomb gifted the third podium spot by Brian, who got his uh, tactics wrong towards the end there. We thought he pulled a blinder by uh, by stopping early and getting the undercut done, but uh, it's kind of backfired a little bit, so Brian will be kicking himself, but well done to Cherry Bomb. He takes third as Brian comes around and he's going to take fourth. Oh, Sunus has crossed the line. Apologies, I missed that one. Sunus has, uh, has crossed the line to take seven, but he's going to be first. Very confusing this, isn't it? Sunus has crossed the line in seventh, but is first in the GR threes. As we're watching Nath. Yeah, Crashing Chris has already finished, so Nath 
He's going to come home in six. Still carrying a penalty. And why not? Then we've got um, Peter. He's going to be eighth. Oh. Well, that ended a bit shorter than it should have done. <laughs> but there we go. That was... Um, race one of the um, multi-class um, hopefully you can join us next week for race two looking forward to that one already hopefully we've got a few more guys on the grid as well um, so thanks for watching and uh, i shall catch you all very shortly